I'm back with another video. Y'all already know what's going on. But before we get into what this video is about, you know what to do. I like this video. Get ready to make your comments below. Subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell. Okay? So, this vlog is about the setup for my bed, the setup for the car, surgery day. So, I hope y'all are just as ready as I am. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information. I'm also going to give y'all a tour of my Airbnb. And I'm going to rate it and be very transparent on how I feel about this location. So, just keep on watching and let's get into the video. First, I'm going to go ahead and get into this Airbnb. This is not how the couches go. This is just what we did. And look at this lazy chicken head. But yes, this is the living room. It's two different couches. They actually um, they actually come out as beds, but we didn't know how to do it, so we left it how it is. Um, but yeah, they have a TV. As you can see, she brought her PlayStation right there. But yeah, I mean, yeah. And then he has like this little dining room area. And then here's the kitchen. Now, when it comes to kitchens, we're very, very picky. And you know, this is nice having the wine glasses and the cups and stuff. But um, this is the kitchen. I'm not quite fond of this sink. Um, I got to paint out that with the grapefruit that I was eating. But I'm not quite fond of it. Um, of course, y'all don't know what my house looks like, but I live a pretty luxury life to me. You know what I'm saying? So, we did go to the grocery store. We got a little bit of stuff. We didn't get too much. Of course, we got some water. We got milk. I got me some pineapple juice. I got fruit. I love, love fruit. We got some um, grapes and down here we got white castle burgers we're gonna try these um and pizza so we got just a little thing little things to kind of carry us over um really till we get home then we'll start going out of eating this is the bathroom i'm very 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 picky about bathrooms as well um, one thing I don't like is that the hot water does not work. Not That's the problem. Um, the shower isn't bad, but it's not my shower at home. Um, we're going to clean it out. We actually bought that bath mat because, yeah, we don't know who's been in here before us. Um, so, yeah, this is the little bathroom. And then this is the room that I'm going to have my setup in so i'm gonna be in that bed and my wife's gonna pull out that bottom bed so that way she can lay on that because she wants to be under me um here's all my stuff all my little i was quite smart with what i brought i didn't want to just bring a bunch of stuff you know um but yeah i'm gonna show y'all me making up that bed how it's supposed to be made up um as well um here's another room this is actually where we had been sleeping. We actually took the sheet from the set that we bought and just put it on top of their made up bed. And we put our pillowcases on top of their pillowcases. So we're not really touching their stuff, but this is that. Now the one thing that I do like is that the house is stocked up, like all the towels and the pillows and you know, all of that. Like I think that's super dope. And the other great thing that I like, um, which was like one of my main things, is that he has a washer and a dryer. And it's um, got the paper towels and all that good stuff here too. So, I mean, the Airbnb is not that bad, but it's just not home. It's, it's um, cozy. It's good enough to do what I need it to do. Um, yeah, like, 
I know I'm trying not to be so picky like I guess, but you know, as I said, my home and my house at home is way different than this. It's, it's, so it is what it is though, and it's doing what I needed to do. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the setup for this bed and yeah, I'll get into all the other good stuff as far as like my surgery time and all those things. So let's go on and get this bed made. So before we get into the making of this bed, this is the body that I'm taking to Dr. Sampson tomorrow for him to do my surgery. So, I'm super excited. Yeah. So, I have to be there tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. My surgery's early. I pray for early surgery, so I'm not complaining, but, oh, I can't so fast. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into making this bed. Um, what I'm going to do first is strip it completely of what they already have on here and then I'm going to get it made okay so give me just a moment I'll be right back okay so I'm taking everything off of the bed I'm going to start with my shower liner The next thing that I'm going to do is load it up with bed pads. So, Always look forward to the day that I would be doing this. And here I am. So I'm just putting on my sheets. Then I have this um this sheet top sheet that we're not using so I'm going to utilize 
utilize it on this bed. So we got queen sheets, so yeah, definitely too big, but that doesn't matter. that's that so then I'm going to take more of it and put them on top as many as possible. Okay, so um, as y'all seen, there were pillows in there. Here's the bed. <laughs> I took everything off this bed completely. I took my shower liner and I put it on top of the mattress so that way any bleeding that I do will not get on his mattress. Um, then I put pads under the sheet, put the sheet on top of it, and then I put pads on top of that. So that way, any blood that I have, like if I'm like leaking really, really bad, draining really, really bad, um, it'll go through these, then it'll go through the sheet, and then it'll go through more, more pads. So that's that. I still have a few left. 
Um, of course, they'll be getting changed very, very frequently. And what we're honestly thinking about doing um, is washing the sheet every day until we leave. We bought our own Tide Pods and things. So that's probably what we'll do. Um, so yeah. is at 6 30 for me to be on time if i'm not on time my surgery will be canceled and my fasting begins at 9 30. and it just seemed like as soon as 9 30 hit i just got hungry i just <laughs> got thirsty like my mouth is super dry and yeah it's crazy but it is what it is. This is my last day of being on total restrictions. After this, I've crossed the finish line. I know I start the world of pain in the healing process, but I'm ready for that. I'm so tired of all of this that I'm going through or that I've been going through. So I look forward to the finish line tomorrow. I'm still like, I'm still like, shocked that I'm even getting the surgery. Like, I don't know, it's crazy. It's like it's kicked in, but it really hasn't kicked in. Like I have my emotional moments, but I feel like it's gonna kick in for real, for real when I get picked up tomorrow. So yeah, I'm excited, you excited? Mm -hmm. Cause this has been a roller coaster ride. Yep. Heavily. Heavily. This shit can be over. Yep. For the smack it though. I'm gonna beat the look. But yep. Um so I'm gonna um show you guys how I'm gonna set the car up in the morning before we leave. So for now, I'm just gonna chill, relax until I fall asleep. Make sure I got my alarm set. Cause it's, it's here, it's time. This is what I've been waiting on. It's here. Good morning. It is about 5.07 in the morning, April 23rd, which is also my surgery day. And let me tell you, I've been up since about four. But it just, to me, is like, oh my God, I'm really about to have this surgery. I can't believe it. Again, this is something that I've always wanted. And to be this close to the finish line is like, I don't know what emotion to use. Like, I don't know how to explain how I feel. But I'm excited to get this over with, to do this thing. But, um, I've taken all my jewelry out, my earrings, and my piercings, and my hat lip rings. I've taken, I've taken all that out. Um, I took a shower this morning with Dow soap and Hibba Cleanse. Um, I got my go right now I'm just sitting here um, really just meditating on what's about to happen um cause I just I mean I know what to expect but everybody's different so I kinda don't know what to expect so I've been praying for about 7 months now maybe longer than that that I have like an easy recovery, like no pain if possible. No pain, cause I'm a complainer. Like when I'm in pain, you're gonna know I'm in pain. Like I'm just gonna keep saying, oh, my stomach hurt, oh, my back hurt. Like I'm a complainer, a true complainer. So I'm just praying that I just be sore and you know, not really just, the exaggeration of getting hit by a bus like a lot of people say so i'm 
super excited. Um, I'm more so, so excited because I finally am able to complete my circuit with the doctor I originally wanted from the beginning. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to take a picture of myself in this dress and then I'll take a picture in this dress again before I leave. Um, so, as you guys know, my surgery was originally on the 21st, um, but I went through that and I just feel like it was a part of God's plan and it was, his plan was to get me with the doctor that I originally wanted so there would be no doubt in my mind that I would be getting what it is that I, what I want. So, um, <clears throat> I was about to say something. Oh, so like I said, my surgery was originally the 21st, but it ended up being the 23rd, which is Friday. And I'm still leaving on Tuesday. Like I've been home, away from home for four days now. And it would have been, a, it's a week, Tuesday to Tuesday. And yeah, I'm ready to go home. So I'm definitely still leaving on Tuesday. Um, I get one of their massages. I'm not sure if I get it on tomorrow or if I get it in the, on Monday. I don't know how that goes, but I'll find out tomorrow. I mean, i find out later today. Um, but I do have a massage therapist that is coming to my Airbnb to do my massages. Um, I don't know what time she's coming in because I have to give her my post-op information. But I do know that my massage on the 27th is scheduled to be at 8 a.m. Um, it's only 30, I think 30 minutes. Um, so about 9-ish. Well, whenever we get done with the massage, we're going to start, you know, getting everything together so that way we can leave because our flight takes off about 12, a little after 12. But the process of getting the rental back and getting on the other side and getting checked in, that's a long process. So we experienced that. So as soon as we get done with the massage, we're going to, you know, pack it up. We'll probably be packed up the night before. So all I do have to do is just... Um, after my massage, get throw on some clothes, and I probably won't even shower until I get home because I want I'm I haven't even had surgery yet, and I'm just ready to be comfortable. Like I'm not comfortable here. I'm not comfortable at all. Um, so yeah, I probably wait till I get home to have a shower, a good hot, relaxing shower. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all for right now. Um, once we're in the, in the process of getting in the car and heading to seduction, of course, I will show you guys how I'm going to have the back seat set up so that way I'm prepared. Um, I'm going to definitely have me a cover there because I hear a lot, um, that you wake up cold. I'm always cold as it is. The crazy thing is I'm not anemic. Um, but I'm definitely going to have a cover with me. And, yeah. So, stay tuned. Surgery's up next. Okay. I'm about to show you how, how I'm about to set this car. It's basically the same thing that I did in the house with the bed.
ain't the best. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. But it's something. The one thing I've never seen people do is show you how they actually set up the car. You just see them waking up in the car. So, first time for everything. You can tuck it, use your seatbelts. That's why I said use the seatbelt. What you mean? Bring the seatbelt out and put it on top of the sheet. So can, like hug the sheet. Just like on top of each other, because I know for sure, if not any other time, the day one, the drainage is gonna be real. The good thing, they ain't gonna, it ain't gonna go through though. Huh? It won't pass through on those bed pads. Right. That's why it dry straight up. Mm -hmm. It dry straight up as soon as it hit. It's supposed to be super, super absorbent anyway. I got my pillar. it actually worked i was honestly thinking about at first getting like a um what's that called the shower liner like we did for the bed just to be 100 percent certain that it doesn't get on their seat but i'm very content that it's not gonna get on there again i got like six pads i got the sheet on there i'm gonna have this dress on i'm gonna have faha on so for the most part um my dress my faha 
and those pads are going to catch the majority of the fluid that's going to be draining out of me. So, that's our car set up. And I'll be back when we get to seduction. What's good, good people? I dropped Bay off about 20 minutes ago. I'm really still across the street. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to go back to the Airbnb and wait. It's going to be a long little waiting process. Um, I really don't even want to leave, but... Her emotions everywhere, my emotions everywhere. But my wife is finna be snatched, y'all. Her dream is coming true. So one of my dreams is coming true. To help her dream come true. See y'all later. So y'all, I'm here at seduction. As y'all can see, I'm dressed and I'm about to go back and get my makeup done. Cause I gotta go super nervous. But it is what it is. It's, it's time. It's my time to shine. Let's get this thing on the road. I'll be back. Alright, y'all. So, I just got marked up. Um, and, uh, Dr. Samson, he's definitely straight to the point. Um, I was not able to show any discipline, but I'm okay with that. Um, the only thing that I'm really maybe with not, not really upset but he said that I'm going to have loose skin on my stomach or in my back row um, but I just feel like if I compress the way that I'm supposed to and do what's needed I'll be fine so that's the only thing that just got me worried at this point but not really just you know, my stomach is going to be flat and that back row will be gone so as long as I'm suppressing I'm sure I'll be able to you know maintain that um, but yeah, I'm, I'm all marked up and now I'm waiting on my anesthesiologist so we can get this show on the road because I'm ready to get it over with. I'll be back once it's all done. What's up, y'all? I'm back at the Airbnb waiting on Bay. She, I've been texting this whole time. I dropped off at like 6.30 this morning. Um, It is now 10 o'clock. She just now going back to the back to get prepped and stuff for surgery. It's a waiting process. Still waiting. So, I just took a shower, changed clothes. I'll be here waiting. Okay, you guys, the wait is over. I'm here. I've been here, really. But they called me. So, I, I left. And then they called me and told me the shit be ready at 2.05. Then they called me back and said, I'm, I'm outside. So, yeah, now I'm outside. And it's like 1.15. So, I'm outside. The doctor said she did great. Um, she was in recovery. Obviously, she wasn't in recovery that long. About 45 minutes to an hour because... They called and told me to come and get her. So, yes, I am ready to see my baby when she comes out. Okay, so I just picked up a y'all. Uh, she's in the back there. She's in pain in and out of it. So, getting her back to the Airbnb. Yes, y'all. What's up, y'all? So, um. Today was surgery. I got out of surgery about one. But let me tell y'all, for those who want to have surgery, better turn that light on for me. For those of you that want to have surgery and have not had surgery yet, I tell you this. The goal for me is to be transparent, to give y'all the full experience, and let y'all know that this is not a game, okay? So, um, I got a text message, as I told y'all, that my surgery was at 6.30. I got there about 6.15. Dr. Sampson called me around 6.45 to confirm that I was there. Um, then he got me to the back. Um, now, one thing I'll say about him, um, I don't really take all of this personal, so, um, you know, he talked to me a little bit, but I was in my, my zone, so I really didn't communicate back, um, but the one thing that I will say, he did not give any, um, he did not ask for any wish picks. He does your body based off of what you bring him, so... If you come with him with a good foundation, um, he's going to just mark you up and, you know, um, going about his day. 
which I had no problem with that because I see his results and he literally almost gives everybody the same thing. Um, of course, we all gonna wear it different. So that's that. Um, I got. I got back there around a little after seven. Um, he came in, told me to get dressed. I did another drug test. Um, then I sat there, he came back in and he went over my paperwork with me to confirm everything, took my pictures, marked me up. And that was that. Um, maybe about 45 minutes to an hour later, the anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist, he came in, he talked to me a little bit, um, got a little bit of like medical background. And then he, um, I had to redo some tests, so he had to get them printed off and add it to my thing. And it was like another hour went by. He came back and he was like, "It's go time." I'm like, "Oh man, you know, like you, you know how you want something so bad, but you still being all like, oh, 'Oh, I'm really about to get this.'" So you know, we walked back to the OR room. Um, that floor is slippery. When I say I almost fell to like twice. Um, I got up on the table, they strapped my leg, strapped my arm. The last thing I remember is him strapping my right arm. And he was like, you're about to fall asleep. And I fell asleep. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in recovery. And when, let me tell you, recovery, that recovery um, area ain't no joke, okay? First things first, I woke up on my butt. Secondly, um, when it was, they never flipped me over on my stomach, um, but I just kept making noises so that way they would know I'm up. I was the only one in there. Um, and, um, they sit you up, get you dressed, and then they wheel you out. Um, on my way out, I spoke with, um, the lady who called my wife to let her know that I was ready. And she told me that I have to walk. Um, 15 minutes every night. She told me I could sleep for two hours and then after that I need to get up and start walking. So, um, I don't have enough energy to actually walk. Now, Dr. Simpson did tell me if I can make it to the bathroom and back to the bed the first day, that's cool. So, that's honestly what I've been doing. Um, I've thrown up twice. The anesthesia is nothing to play with. Um... But every time that I've thrown up, I feel so much better. Like, so much better. Um, I probably doze out for like 30, 45 minutes at a time. Nothing longer than. Um, I got some Tylenol PM, so I am going to take them tonight. But the last time that I take medicine is at 11 PM. So I don't think my wife's going to let me really just sleep like that. Because we need to make sure that the medicines are in my system. So we can get this pain to subside. But I will say, um, walking is definitely going on my to-do list tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm not going to say the surgery is n uh, not no joke or it's for the week. I just say make sure that you're mentally prepared. You've done all the research that you need to do. So that way you have your own understanding of what your recovery process is going to be. Of course, everybody's different. No two people are the same. So just because I'm going through what I'm going through doesn't mean that you're going through what you're, you know, you're going to go through the same thing. I had a, um, a surgery sister. She ended up having her surgery a day early. And she's like in little to no pain. She's just really sore. And here I am. I'm not in really much, I'm not in a lot of pain, just more so when I'm getting up. That getting up process ain't no joke but other than that like just laying here i'm fine um yeah surgery was some cool i ain't gonna lie to you it came really fast even though the waiting game is long but i am super blessed to be past this part and i'm ready to go through on this healing journey so i don't have to deal with seduction anymore or you know all of that is now behind me so, that's that. I'm going to be back with an, in another vlog of my day one post-op and 
you know, all of those things. But I'm going to end this vlog here. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already liked this video, subscribe to my channel. Turn that bell on because the vlogs are going to be rolling. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.